Welcome to yet another episode, Making the Game Songbringer. Today, I have a very special announcement to make. Songbringer's coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah. Oh man, it feels good to finally say that. Yep. The official announcement's coming out in about an hour. So, I thought I'd prep uh, by creating some assets. I'm going to create like a little image um, to promote the announcement, and uh, that's what this stream will be about. So, um, yeah, dude, I'm so excited about this. Where to start? Where to start? I've got all these um, images, promotional images and stuff from the guideline. They have this like Nintendo has like a branding guideline document. So, um, let's go, get the little window set up here, okay, so the first thing I guess will be to decide which Songbringer image to use, maybe a bunch of them. I mean, that one's pretty simple right there. So if we have, um, oh, I have a couple different images that I could use for this that I'm thinking of, right? Like just basically pasting on like a Songbringer image or a GIF. A GIF would be super cool. One of the GIFs I could use would be Where's that at? That's um, like the one by the waterfall. That's a kind of a nice one. Um, or there's a couple different other static images I could use. Or there's the latest gift from the uh, from the DLC. Let's gather these things. Let's gather these images. Okay, so. The first one is in let's look around here. Here. Oh. This one. Oh, it's square. Well, let's get the ratio for this. Maybe it's 16 by 9 ish, something like that. Let's check it out. Oh, what is the ratio for a Nintendo Switchy screen? We're talking 391 over 220. 391 220. Oh, that's yeah, it's exactly 16 by 9, just about. Okay. 16 by 9 it is. Well, good thing all these are already 16 by 9. Could you use any of these. These are great images. cool. I like that one. That's a cool one. That's sweet. Okay, so let's copy a few of these. Maybe we can find the original for that uh, waterfall one. Make a little folder called screenshots here in this Nintendo Switch folder. Um, this one, of course, oh, there. Uh, this one's good. This one's good too, but no, there's something, something missing that in that one. This one's awesome.
This one's cool. And the rest are good, but I'm not really going to be feeling it for like the most epic image ever. Oh, we should get something like this. One of those images. Oh, these are old ones. Okay, so let's grab one of them uh, super epics, or I mean the, uh, this is from the, the poster image. Okay, we'll get this uh, as it is. And let's get another one without as much of this darkness. Find whatever the heck that layer was that does that. There's like one specific layer that really control. Oh, there we go. Brock Oman, what's up, man? Voice of Grog, what's up? How you guys doing? I'm just sitting here pre preparing to announce the fact that Songbringer is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, it feels good to say that. Next, it's coming next Thursday, actually. March, May, no. May 31st. Yeah, right? High five. Yeah, me too. I want to get one. I don't have one either. How you guys doing? So I'm just collecting different images to use, possibly pasting them on some of these, uh, like something like that, or like that, or like that. So I'm collecting some Songbringer images to paste on there. Definitely want to do a few static images and a few GIFs, just to play around with something I can use for this announcement. The announcement's coming out in about an hour, so I'm just working on this stream, just creating sort of some images for this announcement, which I am freaking so stoked about. Oh, I've had to keep this a secret for God, months. I've known for months that it's coming out on Switch, and everybody's asking me on Twitter and Steam and in person, freaking everywhere. Everybody's like, is it coming to Switch? And I have to say... You know, there's nothing else I can say. I can't say yes, I can't say no, I can't say maybe, because it had to be a secret. Um, I think this is just the eShop. I could be wrong about that. My publisher's handling all this. My amazing publisher, Double Eleven, who I, I love more and more, the more I work with them, they're so great. Uh, yeah, they're handling it all. I'm pretty sure it's just eShop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I wish I wish it could be hard copy too, but that's a uh, that's kind of more for like the big boys, you know. When you have a real successful game, Songbringer is a success, mostly, um, but not that much of a success that you'd make a hard copy of it. Dang, sad face as well, man. I got my own little sad face, but I can't let I can't let that. I can't let that distract me from the fact that I have to have, <laughs> I have a happy face right now. It's freaking actually coming to Switch. That's a dream come true. 
just the fact that it's even coming to Switch is huge. So I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for that. Thank you, publisher. Double Eleven is amazing. I love them. Love you guys. Okay, let's grab this uh this GIF. I think I got the original GIF for that somewhere. You know what? I think it's actually on the hard drive here. Oh, another one I want I might be able to use is the DLC GIF. Shoot, where is it? It's not that one. It's not any of these ones. What? Um. Oh, here it is. We don't want the squarish one. Yeah, we could use like that. That's a pretty good one, actually. Take away this image of the V120. Take away the free DLC. This could be pretty good. That's the animated one. Okay, so this one might be due. Might be due. Do, do. Okay. So my hard drive. Um, um, uh, Songbringer trailers. Gameplay trailer. Yeah, there it is. This folder is a bunch of gifts. Bunch of them. That one could do too. Right? That'd be a cool thing to paste on the top of that. What's up with that? Why is that one so slow? These are all cool gifts, but oh, here it is. Waterfall A. Yeah, this is the one with a little bit of camera drift. That's it. That's the one. There's a the square one. Waterfall B, I think, is the one with no camera drift. Correct. And it's kind of rendered a little different. I think Waterfall A is the one. This one's somewhat iconic, I guess. Okay, let's see what else we got for gifts. Oh yeah, this one. This one. Meditation one. No. No, okay. I think that's good. We got enough imagery here. Start playing around. Okay, so if we have, let's close. Don't need that. Don't 
Oh, it's gonna be, we're gonna have to like cut this to a new layer. So it's a little bit harder to work with. This one's a little easiest, the easiest to work with for sure. The Switch logo behind the door with the opening door sequence one. There were two opening door sequences. That does sound pretty cool. Let's think about that. The meditation one, yeah. Uh, the gifts. Wait, no. I do have the straight up raw movies. I mean, oh, that would be so much work. I don't really know how to do that. Oh, I know I do know how to do that. I could actually make movies. Shoot, should I just make a movie out of this? No, I just want to make a GIF most. That's, that's enough. A GIF is plenty. Right, that opens up and there's the Nintendo Switch logo. <laughs> that could work. The one, it would have to be the right size. So the problem, the problem would be that it wouldn't look 3D, right? It wouldn't, or it wouldn't look the right perspective because you would just have a 2D billboard looking Nintendo Switch sign in that image. So like, let's, let's open that up. So, right, if we, if you had the Nintendo Switch logo there behind there, it'd be cool. But to make it look the better, it would have to have a little bit of depth to make it look right and fit in that scene. And that might be an issue with Nintendo's branding. Like they, they're so, so nitpicky about how their brand image is used. And even, oh, another thing that would be weird is the rain. I couldn't just cover up the, like it would be right in front of the rain, which would look really weird. So this one's a little problematic actually. Ever you snag it? Yeah, I know, right? Double sad face. Snag it? What's that? Let's start with the easiest thing. One of these images. Static images. We'll go with this one. Oh, nice. That's cool. Making gifts, stuff like that. So since this one is the easiest one to start with, I'm gonna start with this one. How big is this? Thousand? I guess that's big enough. Okay.
But it doesn't say Songbringer. Let's see what see one with the word Songbringer in it. Oh, we could get one that says it with any, I guess, any of these. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's get the Songbringer logo open as well. Small form, I guess. Mm, I got one of them. Latest images I was just working on. Or these. No, I don't have it there. Oh, I got it in my... Oh, because I was working on the soundtrack the other day. And the soundtrack does... So the soundtrack folder... Soundtrack art. Here we go. That's another thing that's coming out soon. The soundtrack. Yes. Finally going to get that out. I wonder if it should go like up here. And let's slap on the Nintendo Switch logo. That could do, right? That's like... Yeah, right? The He-Man Masters of the Universe cover art? For sure. Definitely reminiscent. Probably, I probably was subconsciously inspired by that when I imagined this first scene. Because He-Man was a huge influence on me when I was a kid. I freaking loved He-Man. By the power of Grayskull! Okay, let's do another one. I'm thinking this one, let's do... Well, let's keep that open. I know, it needs a cat, for sure, in that... Who's that? There was like some like female character. She was like the princess of the 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 castle or something like that. Who was that? 
She was rad. Let's do one of these. Let's open up that one and that one. I know, too long. <laughs> Me too, man. It's all too long ago to remember. Oh, we got to make this one 16 by 9. Um, oh, alarm just went off. I've got to take a break soon. I always ignore my break alarm lately. Because I get excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is so fun. Let's keep doing this. Yeah. 308. 308 times 1.8. Seven 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 five forty eight. Ooh, it looks good. Hope it's not too small, though. What's up, Akuras? Uh, just finished. Yeah, so um, my publisher, Double Eleven, they're the ones that handle all the console versions of Songbringer. They did the PlayStation version, the Xbox. And uh, they've been working on Switch for months. And uh, yeah, it's all finished. It's all approved. It's ready for launch. And it's launching next Thursday, May 31st. Tonight's the announcement. So I'm just creating some like images and stuff to help announce it. How did I like it? How did I like what? You know what? That's not going to work out very good. Let's do this the, a different way. The platform and the tools. Like I said, my publisher was the ones that did that. They're the ones that developed it. I have absolutely no experience with Nintendo Switch's platform or tools. So, I don't know. My publisher did all that for me for Songbringer. Yeah, if you're using Unity, that's cool. So let's get these blended together a bit. Healthy blend. That's pretty good right there. Now we can paste that on a lot easier. So either we can sort of do like a crop a rectangle full of it. Oh, I remember it was 391. Oops. But this one's about, yeah, 400. Ah, 
That looks good. See that with the logo. Hmm. I gotta admit that one. That one's pretty good. That could do. Let's see it with see it with that. This background zoomed in a little bit more though. So poster one, yeah. Um, we want to get more like if it were width four hundred. One. Four. 400 divided by 1.7777777777 So if this were 400 by Yeah, I mean, oh, this is hard to beat, like, it's hard to beat that image. I mean, animated could be cool, but it's going to be a lot of work. But that is pretty epic, right? It's showing you some of the characters, it's showing you a really good art asset, it's showing you the logo of Songbringer, and it's right there in your hands on a Switch device. Let's see this square, because on Twitter, square images are much better. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I could do that. I could actually create like a little window type thing and then yeah, totally. It's probably a better way to do this. So I'm going to create a background of gray. I'm going to see what it looks like with the, the hands fading. And let's tighten this up a bit. A 
There we go. Ooh, I kind of like probably shouldn't have done that with the Nintendo Switch logo. Oh well. Can make that better. Okay, so let's do well, let's just add a, a layer mask. We'll do a little gradient, gradient, sorry, on this. Oh, other way around. There we go. What's that look like? See, now we can just like disable or enable either one of these. Ah, they both look alright. Okay, that could do. And, um... I guess it would maybe need, like, a shadow. That might be might get cool, too. What's up, Pitlix? What up? Right? If we had, like, a little oval shadow beneath all this, it might look cool. Let's do an oval, and we'll make it black. How the heck do you do a shape again? Oh, there it is. Fill it. Solid. Stroke it. No stroke. No stroking it. No stroking it aloud. Oh, it stroked it with a gradient. So I just magic wanded that with a little bit of tolerance and so it like deleted the bottom of the, the arms too. Oh, we want to make that on. Make this contiguous. Not contiguous, sorry. Yeah, like that. Okay, a little bit more than zero. Oh, 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 oh. I want to get rid of that ellipse. There we go. There. Oh, still it's... Oh, we want to turn off the... Disa disable this layer mask for a second. There. And we do want to do contiguous. There, so that gets rid of the gray. Okay, I don't know if this ellipse is going to work. I don't know if that's really doing 
doing much to well I guess it maybe it kinda does if we do a little bit of less opacity. I don't know. Okay, there. We did one. That's cool. It's good enough. Oh, maybe we should actually do a coming like a coming date. Oh, May 31st. Thank you, Toby Peters. How you doing, Toby Peters? What's up? Yeah, it seems to make a little more sense, like, Songbringer, May 31st.
Okay, there. We got one potential image done. I like it. I like this one a lot. But I like, okay, so here's some other ones we could we could play with. This one's super cool. I love this whole like isometric angle it's got on it. Um, and then there's this one too, which would be some work to have to like, we'll have to like outline this whole thing. Kind of annoying. And not, not cool and isometric. This one's cool. Okay, so I could see, I could definitely see it doing this one. This one, um, I mean, it's still, it's a cool image, but it's just too much work. And I think that's all. Yeah, that's good enough for, good enough for government work. Oh, this image here, actually we could go twice as big to get a higher quality Nintendo Switch logo. Okay, but that's if it if it's a good image. Whatever. We want to get a few images here to test them out with. Okay, so let's do, let's save this as screenshots, poster, and then we're going to, we'll copy on top the logo. Where the heck is it? Ooh, that's weird. Oh, is it somewhere out there? There we go. I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm, we could actually copy the other logo to that's from Steam. Which one of these has it? No. Nope. 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 None of these have it. Okay, we need the poster image then. Hmm, poster 1S. Okay. One of these is going to use the big logo. There, that's one of them. Okay, so let's find the big logo layer. This image is huge. There's so many layers. So many layers and so many, like, frames to choose from. Here we go. Big logo. So let's make this uh, back, there we go. It's sort of like drop shadow on this logo, black. It really helps it, partially black, really helps it to pop.
Okay, so let's try that with the big logo on this one. I got that copied. Let's throw it on here and like bend it so it works with this image. Have to skew it just right. Um, there is a skew distortion, I think. No. I wish there was like just a regular old skew, but I don't think there is in Photoshop. Unless there, if there's somebody out there watching, you, oh, Sheer, there it is. I guess we would need to rotate it first to be able to get it on this the correct angle for this. <laughs> Just get the same TV as the picture. Put the game on it and take a photo. Good idea. Oh, excellent idea. That would be perfect. It would look just right. So how many degrees, dude, this is going to be a total guesswork here. Let's guess like, okay, so it's going to be that way. I'm thinking like right there. Yeah, there is a grid distort tool, but that thing is really inaccurate. Like. You can like sort of move each bit of the grid at a time. And yeah, you can you could get it, but it would be like really bumpy looking and stuff. That would be inter inaccurate. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Dang it, what's wrong with this? Why is this, why is this one not the same size? This is a different size TV. It's not 16 by nine. I know, right? It does not seem to fit. But you know what? It won't matter because I can just scale it up a little bit and then trim off the sides. Even though it's the wrong ratio. Okay, so we were close, but a little bit farther. Let's guess uh, there. Oh, that was close. Wait, is that right on? That's pretty much right on. Oh, dude, it's like close enough. So we gotta get it to be the right height. Oh, it's so close, but it's like tiny bit off.
So what? Okay, I'm already starting to not like this image as much as the other one. It's the TV's fault anyway. Cut the whole screen. I know I wish it were that easy just to select the screen. But you can't you can't just do that. I can't just select that color because there's like a million colors here. Something about that just seems wrong. Doesn't it? I know it's the right perspective. I mean, it fits almost exactly. Let's make this whole thing square. And then trim it down a bit. I like the other one better. But we'll save that. Okay, so there. We've got that one. There's this one. Make this one twice the quality. So we can do a better logo. That's better. I guess we could consider it too with this other big logo.
Hmm. I don't see this big logo with this maybe like a yellow color on top of it so it pops a bit more. And let's make the ellipse have a gradient fill. Oh, gradient, but um, we want it to be radial. I'm making a duplicate so I can keep the old one filled with just black. Gotta copy that. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's because it was so tiny. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Radial does something stupid like that. You can't just you can't just squish it. I'd have to make a. Lips like as tall as it is. Like that rasterize it and then squish it all down. And then apply the opacity a little more than that. Whoa, what? What happened? That's good.
Dang, it's hard to get rid of these pixels here, but oh, let's do this. I missed. Missed them. There, it's a little better. Okay, good enough once again. This looks great. Okay, let's try one more image. Not that one. Oh, this one's gonna be hard too. No, not this one either. This one's more like an advertisement for the Switch and how it works. I like this first one. Let's just, I'm just going to go with this one. This is cool. I'll just, oh, let's turn this back on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I guess we could try it with some animated GIFs. How the heck am I going to do that, though? Oh, oh, I got it. I could just put, I could make a copy of it. So, okay, so I could load, I really want to do, let's do, okay, which one? There's the lifting the sword. It's kind of epic and iconic for the game. That could do. That one's 18 megs though, on its own, without a border around it. Meditation opening the door is cool. What happened to the waterfall? Oh, there it is. This one's cool. That one's also 20 megs. Shoot, how can I get... Twitter's maximum GIF is, uh, shoot, what is it now? Is it 15 megs? Fifteen megs. Okay, so I would need to like really trim this waterfall down somehow. Let's we'll see what it would look like though. I'm getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of making these images anyways. Okay, let's open this up in Photoshop and we'll add on sort of like a frame around this whole image. See what can be done about deleting some frames. We'll just duplicate this whole image here. I'm going to size it down. I'm just going to cut the Songbringer image out of here. I know, right, Fear Killer? Dude, what's even worse is... Um, 
Tumblr. Tumblr has like the worst uploader for their gifts. First of all, like the maximum gift size on Tumblr or something like that, I think still to this day is only like three megabytes. It's like ridiculously small. And then if you if you upload your own GIF that's say two and a half megabytes or even two megabytes, it will almost always fail and it'll give you some error message. So you have to like pretty much um, upload it like, yeah, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you pretty much have to have only like a meg and a half for Tumblr. It's atrocious. Oh, is that? All right, the announcement has come out from my publisher. Let me just retweet this real quick. Double Eleven has announced the fact that Songbringer is coming to Switch. In about an hour, I'll do my own announcement too. Man, this is exciting. I'm so stoked. People have been like asking about this for so much, dude. I've got so many tweets. Whenever I'm like, hey, Songbringer's coming to, to iOS. Everybody's like, but what about Switch? Or I'm like, hey, Songbringer got updated on PlayStation, but what about Switch? It's like, give me a break. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that. I'm just finally glad to be like, yes, it is coming to Switch. And then next week I'll be like, it's already on Switch. Okay, there we go. Now we got this whole like window screen type thing here. All right, so the tricky part about this is it's probably gonna blow this GIF up even more than 18 megs, but let's just see what it looks like anyways, huh? First things first. First things first, we need to put it at, this needs to be 1024 by 1024. And then we'll go to the very top frame here, paste on this image. Uh, I said we'll paste on this image. Nice. Okay, so now we can see that every single one of these god damn 337 frames no wonder it's such a big image see what really I should do is delete every other frame but how the heck would I do that oh wait a minute let's watch this image image here for a second Oh yeah, I did get it to loop, didn't I? The trees go around. Yeah. Ah, the best thing would be to delete every other frame, but I don't know how to do that. But like I said, first things first. First things first, we gotta get distracted with Twitter. Okay, I've got all these frames selected. Oh, wow. Now 
I nudged it by one pixel and it's like, uh, uh I can't do it. Use Imager? Yeah. The problem is when you share an image on an Imager GIF on Twitter, it just doesn't. It like. It's not the same. When you share an Im Imager image, it's like sometimes it comes through as a link instead of a GIF, and you just it just kind of ruins the whole tweet. Sometimes. Unfortunately, oh wow, this is so painful. I guess I should do this a different way. It's a good idea, though, good suggestion. See, even this is like taking forever just to move those pixels. Oh man. So okay, I can I can figure this out. If I if I make the image a little bigger first, a little taller. Or if I just move the top layer. There we go. Let's do that, and then we'll do this it's mostly square square images are best on Twitter mostly square okay hopefully this doesn't take forever just to try and export it is it Definitely could. This is a huge image. Oh, I hope this doesn't take forever. Because a lot of this image is not changing the whole time. Oh, but it only has 256 colors too. This could look bad. Well, let's let this do its thing for a second. Oh, wait, was it done? Oh my god. 13 megs? How did it do that? What the heck? 13 megs? It's perfect. I am flabbergasted. Somehow, let's see how it looks. Oh, it would need the Songbringer logo too. Duh. Unknown error. I've never seen Photoshop say unknown error. Oh. Try it with a tiny bit of web snap. Okay. 
Come on. Work. Work. Oh. Oh. Why is it not working? Let's try it with no dither. That looks horrible. Maybe it's too big. It's like it's a thousand pixels wide. Software gore. Still no. Oh, this is disappointing. It can't freaking export this. Maybe it's too tall or too big or something. Ah, uh, we would need we would need to see the logo anyway. Let's get the logo on here. The color, yeah, the color palette could be it too. Good, good thought. Whoops. So I'm just duplicating this logo, merging it into one image and then duplicating this onto the waterfall GIF. Oh, oh! For all those frames, this image was missing. Maybe that's that could be why the GIF was exporting all weird. Ooh, let's try it now. Oh, now it's gonna have the weird diffusion option though. But it shouldn't matter. The GIFs should be able to, I think they're able to reuse content, right? So like this static background image does not change at all. So it shouldn't use any more from the GIF, I think. Got to at least have diffusion though. So otherwise it looks like really bad. Can you upload just an MPEG to Twitter without it having a, an audio track though? Cause like the, the benefit of Twitter and GIFs is that you don't have to worry about audio and, and, and people having to click the video and all that. Cause it, once it becomes a video, it's a little bit different. You know, a GIF is cool because it can automatically play, but a movie is different because people have to like, You know, they have to play it, they have to sort of like, like when they're on mobile, you know, it's the, oh, dope.
Oh, I didn't mean web snap. I meant lossy. What? Oh, yeah. What the heck just happened? I set it to lossy five and the whole thing turned red. What if we do interlace? Okay, let's try half the colors. Oh, once again, we got all red. Dude. I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, let's try. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try is trying to crop the image a little more. See, now it's starting to do something. I think it might be working this time. It's only 12 megs. Come on. Yes, it worked. Yes, I'm sure that's correct. Images only. It worked. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we do have a GIF working. Let's see if is it the right size. To, it's only 13 megs. All right, okay, we, that's a cool option to have. So cool.
All right. Well, I guess that's it. That's all for today's stream. I just wanted to hop on here, share the good news that Songbringer's coming to Switch on May 31st, and uh, create some images just to promote it and you know help this announcement go out. I like this one. This one's nice and high quality. It's a good static image. Yeah, the actual size of the image. It just was bitching out on it being 1024 pixels tall to give it a really nice square ratio. But going with this more uh, widescreen rectangular ratio and, and shorter overall height of the image in pixels, it just worked that way. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But it doesn't even look that bad too. I mean, the image looks pretty cool on there. I don't know, I might actually use this one on Twitter. Um, I'm not sure, it could be. It could actually be the GIF format. You would think that Adobe Photoshop would like provide some kind of error message before it even attempted that, if there was an actual limitation to the GIF, but maybe there is, I don't know, yeah, it certainly is a good explanation. So yeah, there's this image, there's that image with the animation. This one turned out funky. I didn't like that one. That one was just kind of wonky. Then there's these other two that I didn't even try. That one's just kind of like, I don't know, it's more of like an advertisement for the fact that you can take your switch thing off. This one would have been some too much work to get around. But anyways, I'm excited to have that. Like, um, it's nice because when you're when you're uploading images and you're I'm announcing this, I'm gonna have to announce it on Facebook and Twitter and um, Tumblr and Songbringer.com and you know pretty much all these different places have different needs. So like the GIF might work better on Twitter. This static image right here might work better on Facebook, for example, because Facebook is just like, I don't know, it's weird. Facebook has this algorithm, how they promote everything, and when you try and put a GIF on Facebook, it like, I, you're, you're, you never get as many um, views. You know, if you just upload a single image, you get like a thousands of views, and then if you get, if you upload a GIF, you get like hundreds of views. It's, it's weird. I don't know how their algorithm works, but anyways, certain images will work better for certain formats. So it's good to have this and this whole like animated GIF one too. So I must close this stream down, take a little break for a minute, take a little breather, and then I'll be posting these things all over the internet. So thanks for watching. Remove the black border, yeah? That's a thought. Good thought, Ragathian. And hello, Ragathian. Hi. Cool. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this stream. And um, we'll catch you all next time.